Get a dictionary. <sighs> Let's get this straight. All right. So this is going to be the, oh, first off, uh, are y'all tired of this shirt? Because I feel like I've worn this one too many times on here. So if y'all can keep y'all comments on this, I would greatly appreciate it. We're going to be doing the funny detention slips. Whoa. The funny test answers. And I have my pad, my board, and my pen ready because we're going to do this right. All right. First up. Use a tape diagram to express the word problem that you are provided. What is a tape diagram? All right, a kennel has 75 dogs in total. Some are puppies and some are adult dogs. The ratio of puppies to adult dogs in a kennel is one and four. How many adult dogs are there? Well, first off, we're gonna have to divide 75 divided by four. And by the looks of it, I don't think you can divide four to 75. If anything, is there gonna be a half a dog or is a dog missing? Uh, four and a 75. Yeah, I can't do this mess. This kid said, bump all that, be free. <laughs> and has an open kennel with no dogs in, so all of them escape. Where are you from? My mom and me. Well, either this kid's been watching a lot of Popeye or someone needs to up their leg game. Why? Why is it important? I was bored. Draw at least four pieces of clothing on the model and then write a description. Does this kid, do, did this kid draw a cigar? And then write a description of the outfit in Spanish. You must include at least 10. I'm all, my, my vision is already seen all English. So that, so you must include at least 10 vocabulary words from this unit in your description, not including colors. Remember to change the endings on your adjectives. Ropa bonita. First off, good gosh, that is a lot of directions for a kid. This is homeboy's outfit. All right, I actually like the style, I'm not gonna lie. Description, cash fools, everything around me, cream. Bet the money dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> there were one ounce of Spanish in that description. Write a single radical expression. Yeah, uh, because I am not doing any of that. Four uh, to the apostrophe x minus three divided by the exponents of x minus three. This kid said, that's totally gnarly, dude. Write, write a single radical expression. Oh my God. Depending on my day, I don't even know if I'm gonna even give this kid a half a point. Draw the arrangement of particles in liquid nitrogen and gaseous nitrogen. Oh, I don't even understand a word of this, y'all. This kid circled what I think is a fish swimming upwards. I don't know. I don't even know what is going on in this equation. This whole equation. I need to go back to school. A Zoom class or something. Do you have a name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this teacher. This teacher said negative one. How you gonna give him a negative one point? He just said, do you have a name? Yes. Why is iron so important? Okay, the iron is important to make a sword, a what? A pixidated and a build and a complete armor. No, we can be protect from the malls at night. What kind of show was he watching? This must have been HBO or he was playing some games. I don't even know, Xena? What are the consequences of dehydration? The consequences are we get very tired, unhealthy, and very weak, and probably die. D and, uh, if I w I'm going to have to side with the teacher, which I normally don't in these cases, but that question mark, not one, but two question marks, that actually explains how I'm feeling because I understood nothing. I actually probably would have erased one question mark because he did this in cursive. Question two, I hate these things. I remember taking this in school. Kevin has nine stamps that have the image of a boat on them. If this is the 30% of the total collection of stamps Kevin has, how many stamps does he have? This kid typed too many stamps. Answer a number like 34. Let me try to do this. All right. Kevin has nine stamps. That's nine. If this is the 30% of the total collection of stamps Kevin has, 
All right, 30. Uh, yeah, I, y'all, if, uh, we technically it's summer, right? So I think we out of school. So I honestly don't even need this. I know my mom loves me because she didn't send me to an orphanage. Happy Mother's Day. Love, Lexi. <laughs> what are these kids? What do these kids know about what orphanage is? I don't even know what. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not gonna pull my own cars out like that. <laughs> Something tells me Lexi really meant every single word because thank God this one says X equals three inches and then wrote I D F K. <laughs> The teacher, the teacher, well, y'all can see, I'm just saying for the people driving in the car, listen to me. The teacher put a red X on the circled answer and two underlines under those four letters and said, language. I think my mom should do less of this. <laughs> All right, this kid does not like his mom drinking wine. <laughs> Apparently she looks happy. So let your mom be happy drinking her wine. She's smiling. Golly, y'all can't <laughs> What's up with these Mother's Day cards all of a sudden? Question seven. I am a sharp key signature. On the music wheel, I am one more than three and my fifth tone is B. Can you name me? This kid said yes. <laughs> wrong or right. There are some things I personally need to know to have me sleep at night because I don't even know. Activity. These questions have to do with times you've messed up. It's important to try to remember as much as you can about how you felt when you made your mistakes. Number one, describe a time when you made a mistake. This kid wrote, I downloaded Fortnite. Question six, tell about your favorite Christmas tradition, present perfect. I have baked cookies. Question seven, tell about one broken New Year's resolution. Pass, I failed to lose weight. <laughs> if I am late for class, I will burst into class and comment on Mr. Thomas's mustache. Mr. Thomas will blush and say thanks. You think that's all it takes? I'm telling y'all, no matter if you compliment teachers, teachers are on the game right now. All right, I tell you, Y'all, all that little sucking up, that won't hurt. And I don't even know why I'm touching my mustache, my bad. Tom thought of a number, he squared the number and added the result to the starting number. <laughs> Y'all, get good luck with that. The sum was divided by six and then 10 was added. If the number Tom thought of was five, what was his final result? 15, Tom has too much spare time. The sum was divided by six, okay? The sum was divided by six. All right, y'all help me out here because, okay, when it says the sum is divided by six, so the sum equals the word that goes after sum. But when you say divided by six, does the six go here or does it go here? I don't even know. Or maybe it goes here. Shit. What is an occasion that often reunites family members? Oh, here we go. And the teacher circled it. I am ready for this one. An event that reunites family members is a tragic accident where everyone dies and they meet in hell. What the? In which battle did Napoleon... My bad, y'all. I feel like when I fell, it actually knocked the spit. <laughs> in which battle did... In which battle did Napoleon die? His last one. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? At the bottom of the page? The Rapid River flows in which state? <laughs> Liquid state? What is the main reason for divorce? Marriage. All right, A plus for creativity. Is it an F or an A plus? See, that's why kids have dyslexia today. Because of this. You ain't need a, which one is it? Words of the week, directions. Write as many words with the same pattern up. All right, now this was a setup from the beginning. <laughs> Truck, this kid said buck, tuck, yuck, stuck, luck, duck, muck, and let's not forget the F word. I'm just surprised he had that many. <laughs> Underline the mistakes in the following sentences. Write out the correct spellings on the dotted lines. All right. 
Rashid accidentally dropped the envelopes all over the floor. This kid underlined that whole thing. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go on to the next. All right, use Don's theory of natural selection to explain how the elephant's trunk. What? What kind of question was that? The elephant's trunk. Explain how the elephant's trunk. What is the elephant's trunk doing? Y'all got it. It could have had sex with like a giraffe because they have proper long necks and then their neck genes could have been passed on to the elephant's trunk genes, therefore giving it a longer trunk. Y'all, if I don't see a check mark anywhere near this thing, I'm about to find that teacher myself. Because not only is that good penmanship, that actually explains a lot. And says the graph shows I more rainy day than cloudy days. Is she correct? Y'all, I was that kind of kid that was circle that wrong thing. In this case, it's I and give the teacher a piece of my mind. And says the graph shows I more rainy day than Oh, one more rainy day. Oh, my bad. Anne says the graph shows one more rainy day than cloudy days. Is she correct? <laughs> Choose yes or no. This kid filled in no. Explain your answer. Uh, cuz no. Which lesson about life does this story teach? <laughs> and then the kid marked A, with hard work and a little luck, you can do what you set out to do. <laughs> Just a little luck. The teacher said no, it's actually C. No matter what happens, it's your own fault if your plans don't work out. Golly, dang. Gosh, can I get a little inspiration up in here? Because you just shot me down. You're saying if my plans don't work, it's all my fault? Explain Polly's exclusion principle. <laughs> this kid actually drew a whole parrot. And on top of that, circled it with a mark going through it and wrote, no parrots allowed. Question 12, for the chapter four test, the mean absolute deviation for Mrs. Smith's class was 5.75. For Mr. Phil's class, it was 9.25. What does this tell you about the test scores in the two classes? Someone said, Miss Smith got some dumbass children. <laughs> Damn. Well, first off, Maybe Mrs. Smith's maybe Mrs. Smith's teaching ability isn't up to par as Mr. Fields. In the space below, please write any overall comments about this course or instructor not covered above. <laughs> this kid wrote, if I had one hour to live, I'd spend it in this class because it feels like an eternity. Dang. All right, this test, this math test said construct a Rectangle with sides Y and N Z in <laughs> this kid. <laughs> he kept the words construct A and just scribbled the rest out and said construct a banana car. He drew a banana car with the person smiling to the, from ear to ear literally and said I want to retake this test. these kids when I was in school because I tell you man oh god write a new ending to Cinderella <laughs> no more quote and the prince and Cinderella lived happily ever after unquote oh gosh I'm ready for this this kid wrote two years later Cinderella died of fat lid's foot what the how are these kids knowing what orphanage Athlete's foot, all these things. How are these kids knowing this terminology at such a young age? I know. Menorrhagia. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Oh, well, this kid knew. Excessive bleeding. Woo! And what is a cystocil? <laughs> I don't even know what a menorrhagia was. When cyst formed. Uh, okay. What is a galacteria? Space herpes. <laughs> okay. You telling me that when cyst form was wrong? 
but space herpes was right. Subtract 30 minus 20, 10. Y'all, I had that. I didn't even need this. I didn't even need that. Show your work. 20 plus 8 equals 28. I used my fingers. You see she's getting angry. You felt that feeling too. Describe a time when you felt really angry. Y'all, here we go. This kid wrote, when I found this homework in my backpack. What did you do? Did it. About how old is your grandfather? 50, 5, or 500? Y'all, if someone has a grandfather close to 500 right now, please let me know now. We can literally talk about this. Just me and you. I want to talk. I just want to talk. This kid, oh, this. Mm. This kid wrote his own choice down and, and said dead. Y'all, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Just like the teacher. The teacher said sorry, but it's still a C. Y'all. <laughs> Would you rather be stuck on an island all alone or with one person you hate? Why? <laughs> Y'all, I see a star already. All right. I would rather be on an island with someone I hate so I have something to eat. Dang. All right. Trip homework. What was your favorite part of the show? <laughs> I had no favorite part of the show, but I liked the bus ride. Draw a picture of your favorite part. <laughs> and then, then this is the bus. What kind of bus is that? What is that in the front? Is it growing something? 10 words I can spell right are, <laughs> 10 words I can spell right are octopus seven and two. What is a major political issue facing Colombia today? The civil war. How, what? Oh. How might Colombia solve the problem of guerrillas trying to control the country? If a country can't figure it out, how can I? Thumbs up if you don't. Thumbs up anyway, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up, cause you, cause you, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> but with that being said, thumbs up. Thumbs up.